What is good, everybody, man? We's back again. Another video. All right, man. So Jackson State, uh, Coach Prime and coordinators tell the Jackson State Tigers how they really feel. Now, I assume it's probably not very good. Because, or they probably have feelings towards something that happened in practice or whatever. But I don't know. It doesn't sound very good for it. Or it may be motivational. Who knows? But they may they may either chew them out or give us a motivation or both. But let me go ahead and get this started, man. I want I want to hear what Coach Pyman had to say. Here we're going on right quick, man. Let's see. What, let's hear what's going on. Fill it in. Fill it in. Please, 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 fill it in. Fill it in. Make the circle run the run the logo. We're camp. We don't got school, man. This is this is your profession right now. Uh oh. Okay. And offensively, I, I thought the first group was, was decent. I mean, my God, man. Coach talked about discipline all the time. We we were a very undisciplined unit today, man. Mm. I don't know how many penalties we had. I have no idea. I lost count. Okay. We were undisciplined with penalties. We were undisciplined with our hands. We had I don't know how many missed assignments. How many dropped balls, man? That's just it's like God dang, guys. Our our biggest enemy today was ourselves. Okay. What happens when we do our job? What happens when we do our job one play at a time and play fast and execute? Okay? It ain't that hard, man. It ain't rocket science. Okay? You do your job. You beat the man across from you. You do your assignment with the technique that you learned from your coach, then we're going to be fine. If you can't do that, we're not going to be okay. Okay? First group was all right. The second and third group, you guys need to pick it up, man. Just simple stuff. Trying to throw you a touchdown in the end zone to the tight end. We bust. Okay? St stuff that we literally just walked through. Okay? Missed assignments. If that's the case, it's not important enough to you. If you come out here, you get an opportunity. We talk about opportunity. We talk about competing. You come out here and you squander that opportunity, it don't mean enough to you. I'm just telling you. All right, hold up. Now, before now, now before he goes, now, I do want to say this. In college football, right, the first group is, look, a lot of times you're going to notice the first group, like, between the first group and the second and third group. Because a lot of times, like, the talent level is, like, completely different. Like, I mean, it is mad distance between the first and second group in terms of talent level. But I really don't know if that's going to be the case for Jackson State this year. But, but look, and we got to realize this, too. This is the first year for that offensive coordinator, so I'm kind of assuming that a lot of the times the players are still trying to get acclimated with with the offensive plays still. They're still trying to figure things out. Because remember, when you get an, it, whether it's a new offensive coordinator or a defensive coordinator, you're kind of learning as you're going as you're going along. Regardless of how many times you go over it, especially in the summertime, like in the summer, like you're always going to be on a on a forever learning curve up until probably like, hell, even days before the first, even weeks before the first game of the season. Like it's always a learning curve. So I understand what, what the offense is going through. I understand it. All right, defensively. Oh, D corner. Most part you should. I'm not gonna tell you that you played bad because you didn't. Were we perfect? No. Are we in shape the way we need to be? No. Are we blowing some assignments? Yes. We have to play smarter. We have to be more disciplined. Okay? If we do those things and we study and prepare the way we should, we have a chance to be dominant. I'm telling you what I'm seeing. Okay, not gonna talk about last year, but I do know this year we have a chance to be dominant. How badly do you want to be dominant? Because if enough of you guys want it and enough of you guys prepare and get in shape, we got guys coming to the sideline throwing, throwing a, a stuff around, talking about I'm tired. No, champions don't get tired. Mm. You want to be a champion, you want to dominate, get in shape both mentally and physically. You guys understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Do you want to be great? Yes, sir. You don't just say yes, sir. Don't answer me, okay? 
I don't want a verbal answer. You know what I want? Show you. Show us. Show you know us. It. Hey, they are, hey, that's all they want. <laughs> that's really all they want, man. You got strong. 34 plays. Average play. How many plays? How many snaps you average, DT? Seven. 65, 70. 65, 70. And we tired? And not even half of that? And you got breaks? The amount of plays you went, you got the same amount of time of a, as a break more because the threes went. Because I think we could be better than what, what we showed today. And uh, we got some holes in our game. And the guys, be, be true and honest with yourself when you watch the film and you grade yourself. Coaches, we can ready to meet right now. Because we got to talk about this mess. We got to talk about some of the personnel. Uh -oh. And we talked about opportunity. We had an opportunity on a special team where a guy don't even go out there and he don't, he ain't on nothing else. Is he Coach Ricard? No, uh oh. So is that a, how can we blow that? that ain't good. Not dialed in. Not Did good. we go over all this stuff today? Went over it yesterday too, Coach. Coach Brett, every play we ran, didn't we go over that today? DT, yes, everything y'all did. Did you go over it? Yes, sir. Well, how are we blowing the coverage where a guy runs down the field wide open? We better than what we showed today. Get with your coaches, coaches. You guys get with me right after this, please, sir. Now, I don't know if that means there's going to be some personnel changes or what, but for a coach to say that, oh, we all look at the personnel, and for a and for a Coach Prime, look, we all know how how open Coach Prime is and, and how honest he is. So for him to say, oh, we got to give the coaches get get with me after you give it to players. I'm pretty sure you're serious. But let me, and I'm going to say this too. I'm not going to be wrong with this. So we all know that, I mean, you guys heard that like, the Big Ten just got that big ass seven, damn near eight billion dollar TV deal through seven years while the, um, I think ESPN Go got over a hundred and, and something million for 10 years. Man. Ooh, you talking about a massive difference. And you got to think, man, like, for 10 years? I mean, for 10 years, 12 teams in the comp split between 100 and 20 million. Not enough. Not enough. And for that deal, it's only be from, from one network, from ESPN. Meanwhile, look, the Big Ten got – shit, Big Ten just left ESPN – in ABC about a week ago, before uh, they got this new deal with uh, CBS, NBC, and I forget the other network, but dog, my goodness. And I think that's just for football. I don't know if I don't know if that's just if that's just for football or if that's just for other sports. But from what I saw, from what I saw, I thought it was just for football. But dog, that is absolutely ridiculous, man. So, yeah, man, I don't know what other, you know, what the SWAC and the MEAC got to do to be a part of that. But for the next 10 years, man, psst, dog. I hope the rest of the SWAC could, you know, kind of kind of go forward with trying to figure out how to get a bigger deal like that, man. But, yeah, man, but, man, that was, that was absolutely crazy. But, yeah, man, yo, like, fam, Jazz State going to be ready. I, I know Jets, they're going to be ready. You know, they, they're going to they're gonna do what they do. It always happens like that. So, we'll see what happens.